You can do whatever you want. 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 Hey everybody, you welcome want. to Executives Just After Hours, a leadership perspective. Thanks for checking in. This is me, Dr. James Kelly. So this week, if you've been following me over the last few weeks, you'll notice I'm back indoors, not at the beach. So uh, my life is back to normal, I guess, at this point. School's back in session. So what I want to do today, as I've been doing over the last few weeks, is sharing with you a couple of recommendations. I'm going to share with you two today. And the first one is from a gentleman named Lee Cockrell. Lee Cockrell is the former executive vice president of Walt Disney World Resorts, and he's a best-selling author of four books. And Lee, to me, is the cornerstone of my book when it comes to the final story that I share with you. And his story is amazing. I mean, at the end of the day, it's straight up amazing. And he's a, he's a guy who really demonstrates the idea of growth mindset, which we'll talk about in a little bit today. And here is what Lee had to say about the book. We all have different strengths, but I can tell you that being authentic and humble hopefully are your dominant strengths. These are the ones that will take you to the next level in your personal and business life. I have learned a lot about myself, both strengths and weaknesses, but the Crucible's gift taught me even more about myself and how I could still become an even better husband, father, grandfather, and business leader, and hopefully leave a legacy that I can be proud of. You see, study James Kelly's book. You will learn a lot more about yourself and about the people around you. It's never too late to get better. It's hard, but when you do the hard things, life gets easier. And that is Lee Cockrell. Now, the second one I want to tell you about is a guy named John Berghoff. John Berghoff is the founder and president of Flourishing Leadership Institute and also the creator of what's called the LEAF certification. And the LEAF certification is all around appreciative inquiry, which I'm going to actually be going to see John in a few weeks. Uh, on the 24th, I'll be in Cleveland, Ohio, taking this course. John is an amazing guy. Uh, if you don't know John Berghoff, he's been the co-host for Achieve Your Goals podcast uh, with Hal Elrod uh, over the last year. And John is, is wise beyond his years, and I can't say enough about John, but this is what John had to say about the book. The impact of toxic leadership is well documented. Yet, organizations still fall victim to the lack of integrity and honesty at the top. The Crucible's gift opens up an important conversation about the stuff authentic leaders are made of. And you will meet many in this book whose stories are benchmarks for all of us. Highly recommended. So those are just two more recommendations. You know, you've also probably noticed that on LinkedIn over the last week and a half, I've slowly been dripping out different individuals who are in the book whose stories I talk about, who form really the framework of this idea of being an authentic leader. And so hopefully you're seeing those. I got some more big names coming out in the next week or so. Also, be on the lookout in a few weeks. I'm going to be in the airports uh, for a brief interview I did with C-Suite Books. So that's, I'm looking forward to that too. And finally, geez, I forgot to say, go to Amazon. Get my book. Pre-sales are on right now. Uh, last week, I was number one in global marketing. I was uh, number one in organizational change and top 10, top 20 in several other categories on Amazon's business books. So it's out there. Go get it. The Kindle version will be available here in the next week and a half. So if you're waiting for that, great. Go get it then. Um, but, but anyhow, all the pre-sales are, are hugely helpful. Uh, and I would appreciate if you if you have any inkling or desire to, to check it out, go do it. And if you're not sure about the book, just go to my website. You can get a free copy of the introductory chapter there. All right. So today's topic, I'm going to go back to Lee here and kind of start it off. Today's topic is around growth mindset. Now, for all of you that might know what this is or might not know what this is, this really starts with a woman named Carol Dweck. And Carol Dweck wrote the book Mindset, it's a 2006 book, and it really talks about this idea of fixed versus growth. Fixed meaning I, I like where I'm at, I don't want to learn more, uh, I take credit for successes, I pass blame for failures, where growth is, I pass, I pass success to others and I take ownership of failure. And I inspire and want questioning of what I'm doing and I wanna learn about everything else around me, whether learn about who you are, learn about my company, learn about the industry, learn about how to be a better leader, learn. And this is what Lee did. Lee Cockrell had this amazing story of being bounced around 
you know, mom married multiple times, really being a bad sort. And Lee worked himself out over time. But the only way that Lee did that and how leaders that I interviewed, the 140 plus, that demonstrated these, this capacity of being growth mindset focused is that he had the desire to want to get better. And so, you know, when you think about what I've talked about over the last month and a half, I talked about the idea of the crucible, your moment of adversity that transforms you, right? And then I talk about, well, out of that adversity is the, the desire and ability to become more self-aware. What are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? How can I get better? Where can I get feedback? And out of that self-awareness, I start to become and have more integrity, behavioral integrity specifically. How can I be more honest, more real, more present? And then I move on to the idea of compassion. How can I be compassionate towards myself and others? And we start to paint this picture of this model because not only does a growth mindset say, to, say that I want to be more self-aware and have more compassion, but a growth mindset also says, I have a belief that I can relate to people where they're at because I'm curious. I want to know more about you as a human being. And that only happens when you have a growth mindset. And then when you put all of that together and you put the growth mindset at one end and the crucible at the other end, you've got this idea of an authentic leadership model. And so when we talk about the idea of growth mindset and leaders, it's the leaders who are driven to learn, to have compassion, to live with integrity, to have a philosophy of relationships and relatableness. But it only occurred because of their adversity, not in spite of their adversity. And so I'd ask you guys this week, a big ask for you is take the week and write down all the successes that you had in the day. All the little successes, the tiny successes that you had, as well as the big one. Big ones, sorry. And I want you to think about those because when we start thinking about the little successes, they become bare successes over time. You know, too often we focus on where we failed, not where we're succeeding. So I don't want you to ignore your failures. I want you to appreciate your failures and figure out the successes in them. You know, early on in some of the, some of the podcasting I've done, some of the conversations I've had uh, in this process, too often in life, it's the, big, uh, the problems that we have begin with the way we frame it or the questions that we're asking ourselves. We don't ask ourselves, what is the success in our failure? We ask ourselves, why did we fail? And we look at the negative sides, in sides to the failure. But instead, if you start asking yourself, where are the positives? Where is the growth in this failure? Then you are already and automatically putting yourself on the positive side of failure, not the negative side. And that in itself is a growth mindset. So until next week, which is my final vlog for a few weeks, see you later. Go to Amazon. Thank you. Go to my website, www.drjameskelly.com. Uh, get the book. And uh, thank you guys so much. Please share and have a great week. See you.